Hi beauties, thank you for joining me back in my channel. I'm going to be doing a haul video real quick here. Well, hopefully real quick. I say real quick, but, you know, let's be serious. Sometimes haul videos don't always take real quick, but, um, yeah, I just want to thank you for coming back to my channel. Thank you for all my new subscribers out there. Um, I've just really been enjoying this, doing the, you know, showing the products that I get, um, talking about them, and um, just giving my input uh, out there, hopefully to help some of, some of you out there that might be having, you know, um, a tough time picking certain items out. You know, that's what I always did. You know, I, I would have problems. And when I first found the whole beauty YouTube world, I was just floored. I was like, oh my gosh, you know, like I had learned so much within that short period of time and, you know, I, I think it's just great, you know, so many of us out there doing what we, you know, like showing things that we love and enjoy and just becoming really close friends, maybe making these relationships and everything. I just think it's just great. So um, let's see where I want to start with first. Okay, this stuff's going to be um, things that I had purchased in um, Walmart. And then I just a couple things in um, Big Lots. And I'm telling you, go to your Big Lots. Sometimes you can really find great deals because I went this time again. I don't go there often, but now I'm starting to think maybe I should. Then that could be a bad thing. <laughs> but um, I'm starting to think about going there a lot because um, they do end up having like limited edition um, products from the drugstore. And, um, you know, it, it might be like from last summer or spring, but, you know, for the prices that you can get them for, it's just crazy, just crazy, crazy. So, yeah, I'd say go check your big lots sometimes. You would be amazed at some time. I mean, like mine's like that anyway. I don't know if everybody's is. So, okay, I'm going to talk about some for the hair first real quick because... Obviously, and I need to get something done with my hair. I keep saying that, but I just, it, it looks like it might not be till next month, which really stinks. But I, I want to, I need to get it um, colored, which I sometimes do that myself lately now because the expense of it and everything. So I want to get it colored and cut, like trimmed maybe. I don't know. It's getting pretty long there. Yep, getting pretty long. <laughs> So, this is a hair, pro hair product, and it's from L'Oreal, and it's the va Advanced, there, there, jeez, I can't talk. And I'm honestly, I swear, drinking water. Drinking water out of my Wonder Woman cup. <laughs> yes, I am still into those kind of things. I don't watch the cartoon, but, you know. I, I liked Wonder Woman. She was one of my idols when I was growing up. So, and obviously still is. <laughs> so, okay, but seriously, um, the L'Oreal Advanced Hair Care. This is the Total Repair Extraordinary Oil. Uh, it's neutral oils. It's for dry to coarse hair, which right now, especially what I mean, like. I think any time, of course, you want to take care of your hair. I mean, your hair can just go haywire on you and any time of the given day. But um, right now, the weather's just been so horrific here. Cold, very cold. I mean, this is like the worst cold that we've had in a long time. So it's dry to coarse hair. That's great. And um, what does it? Oh, it does smoothness. It says it instantly absorbs into the hair to weightlessly smooth and shine. Uh, Specially formulated for the dry to uh, coarse hair. Uh, so the advanced treatment with neutral oils, their system helps. Uh, is it fight? Yeah, fight split ends. Mm, didn't realize that. Um, I've used this twice now, and it smells really good. And actually, because I thought it did smell a little bit familiar to me, it smells just like or almost like the um new, new, oh what in the heck yeah i can't even think of the name of the company right now i can see but i can't 
Hmm. I'll think of it here in a minute. Okay, while I'm thinking, but it has a really nice smell. This one smells better to me. Let's just put it that way. I can't think of the name of it right now, but it just, it's, oh, Garnier. There we go. It was the Garnier for damaged hair. It's like in a yellow um, spray thing, and it smells good. You can actually, now there's, you can use like a little spritz on your face or on your body. I don't know, the face, mmm, yeah, and then on the hair sometimes when I did spritz it, because it sprays, this one, you pump. Okay, but anyway, you twist this thing around, and I'm actually going to put some on my hair, and that's why I took my rings off for a bit, and it comes out like a serum, kind of a, if you can see that, and it's running away from me, but, yeah, so, um, and it's very, very soothing. Smells so this smells better, I would have to say, than the Garnier one. Um, I'm not always whatever with Garnier brand. Now I'm doing this on my ends um, to kind of, you know, help them out a little bit. And because hence we all need to do that, don't we? Um, especially with us for long hair. I guess if you have short hair, you can do it, whatever. But. Um, and I always like to, tw I don't know why, this is something I just always like to do is twist my hair and then kind of just with the rest of it do it like that. So, um, but it smells really great and I just think it smells much more better than the other kind. So, I got this at Walmart, I believe it's like five something at my Walmart, but I had a coupon for so, yep, I jumped on the bandwagon for that one. Um, okay, so then this for skincare. I have been trying some of the Freeman products. Like, um, how I've been trying them, though, was, you know, them packets that you can get when you're in the store, like maybe drugstore or in Walmart, Target, or whatever. And um, that's kind of how I've been trying them out. I was looking for the detox one, the charcoal uh, black sugar one because that's really good. I actually feel like it can be pretty much as good as the um, that glow that everybody's been talking about. I'm having a terrible time remembering things. That's what age does with you when you're in your 40s. So, but <laughs> I'm just so tired today, honestly, because I've been out all day today. But, um, yeah, I just, I really like some of the products. And the charcoal one I was talking about, it, it is, it, I think, uh, something glow, whatever that new mask. And it's like $60 for the thing. That's so small. I've tried a sample. It's great. It's good. Not ditching it. It's just, wow, the price. And wow, all the more you get in the thing. Glam glow. I mean, if, if I could afford it, I'd probably get it at times just to treat myself. But I just feel the black, the... Um, and, and these are like four dollars at my Walmart you know so I mean if it's gonna work and it's not making me break out you know I'm, I'm gonna just use that so this one's the facial anti-stress mask uh, Dead Sea Minerals so it comes in a nice tube and like I said these are like around about four bucks and it smells wonderful I can't even it has a nice fresh, um, fresh, little floral, but fresh smell to it. Um, it's pretty much close to the color that you see here. You get like this bluish, uh, tealish color, you know, but, um, you leave it on your face and let it dry. And it just really is something, you know, like it says, the anti-stress. I mean, if you had one of them days and you know, a lot of us, I mean, this is a busy world now, um, can use stuff like that. So, uh, I think you can use it twice a week. That's what I've been doing is twice, twice a week. So, on to the makeup. And I did do some reviews and demos on some of these things already. Not Some of them aren't loaded up yet, and uh, some are. So, the first thing I'm going to show you, and I haven't gotten anything from this company in a long time is Physicians Formula and this is their um, Super CC and it's the powder. I'm actually going to get the liquid too because I've heard a lot of good things about the liquid um, how it 
um, is pretty moisturizing and just great all over your skin and everything. So I did get that. If you want to see more about this, I will post the link down below because I don't want to get too in depth with that. Um, the other thing I got from Physicians Formula, and uh, well, I wanted to get it because for one, it just sounded interesting, and then of course the packaging just grabbed my attention. Was one of these blushes here from them? It's um, I think it's in the nude, the nude collection that they have out right now. This one here I got in the natural though. It's not the bronzy one. It's more of pink colors. Now where you see it says nude wear, I guess that must be the line's name then right there. It did have that um, overlay that they always do. They always put like this frosty overlay on some of these products. But it always comes up. What is the point? May I ask? I mean I guess the presentation at first to catch you when you first buy it. But don't get it. What is the point? You know I mean like I said, I get it. It looks pretty, but it just it goes away afterwards. And sometimes, like, maybe for somebody that's more younger, but for me, it it can get a little crazy. So, but it's a gorgeous, I swirled them all together, and it comes out to a really nice pink color, which I'm going to guess you can use it more as a highlight. Maybe you can use it as a blush. I'm trying to see where my... I guess you could use it as a because look at that pretty color. Um, I never tried the booster ones or whatever they are. I think I might try them because I do hear a lot of high reviews on the booster kind. Um, but Physician's Formula can be pretty pricey. But lately I've been noticing some of these other drugstore items can be pretty pricey too. So I don't know. Um, it, it just can get pretty crazy. So... Uh, See, I know I have. Um, I was in a, I guess, pink mood, but I lack pink blushes, it seems like. And um, I always seem to gravitate to a lot of peach ones sometimes because peach does flatter my skin a lot of times with my um, with my skin tone and, and everything. But, I mean, pink does too, but it's just, I don't know, I just gravitate to the peach lately, it seems like. So this is from the CoverGirl Cheekers collection. I'm starting to really like some of these blushes. Um, this is my second one right now, but I do have the one in the Plum, uh, Sweet Plum or something like that. This one's in P Classic Pink. This is the Classic Pink. It is really pretty. I'm glad I, because Mel from Melfus or however you say, it has like a beautiful glow to it, sheen to it or something. And um, I'm glad I listened to her because she always raves over these blushes. And I think it is just so pretty, which, right there. I mean, yeah, it looks, but you can see, see how it does that sheen? So this, these kind of blushes, you wouldn't even really need the highlight, you know. It just looks so pretty. Um, oh, another blush, which I really am enjoying, the e.l.f blushes like this, these kind of blushes. Um, it looks similar as they as as the NARS. This one's a pink too. Um, twinkle pink or something like that. This has when you when I look at it in the lighting, which I don't know if it's gonna pick it up here, but it has like a lot of boy does that look pale there, but it's not it's not that pale, so I don't think it's that that pale. That pale. <laughs> But it has a lot of shimmer glitter in it. But when I rub it, it doesn't seem to come off as much and then go on the face kind of a thing. So um, I'm fine by that. Very pigmented. Not flipping you. Honestly, I'm not flipping you off. I'm just trying to. But it's very pigmented blush. And it's really pretty. I guess you can see some of it. Some of the, the glitter shimmer. But... Okay, come on, you. Right there it is. Really pretty. Look at all them pinks. Pink, pink. So pretty. So that's it right there. So I don't know who I've seen recently who had those colors, so I jumped on the band bandwagon to get some of those. Um, let's see. Of course I got some lip products. You know me and my lips. So, um, first thing I had seen, don't know, 
what her name is, is it Lolly? I'm not sure which one it is, which beauty it is that was talking about the hard candy collection. I don't usually technically always go for hard candy because it's a little bit out of my show, but certain things it just depends. Like I do got some of the blushes and um, I did pick up an eyeshadow and I'm trying to think of what else I got from them. But anyway, this is called the Glossaholic Lip Gloss and it does have some glitterly, glitterly, glittery, whatever, specks in it. It's creamsicle. Cream sickle is what it's called, and it's glossaholic. This is the mother load <laughs> of all DOFA applicators. Let me just say, this is the the mama of them all. Wait till you see this DOFA. Hello. It smells. Oh gosh, it smells like cupcakes or cookies or something you know seriously if you were on a diet you'd be in trouble with some of these things or you could just put them on and just keep sniffing and just thinking hey i'm eating a cupcake yeah. but anyway that's a big fat mother load of the dofas honestly look at that i mean seriously that is huge but i mean it it, it works good because i had used it and um now it gives off some coloring but it's great the way i've seen her apply it she put it like on the lower part of her lip and the upper to kind of give that pouty look and make it more more full blown which where are you at there so there it is right there has some coloring to it but not much because um i don't know what the other ones look like there was confetti was the other one I was kind of interested in it was a nice milky pink so I'm not sure how that one would be but it was it was a pretty milky pink the other lip gloss <clears throat> which some of these things I had coupons for so I bought some stuff with coupons and did save but uh, the Maybelline elixirs I'm really loving these you know me I ha it seems like every time I have a haul or anything it's like I have a new one I had new ones I think this is like my fourth or fifth one and this one here, my husband actually picked it out because I had a couple. And I said, which one? He picked out this one. And it is a gorgeous color, so he did good. Uh, it's caramel infused. And, you know, these ap DOFA applicators are really unique and different, the way they're shaped. I was showing these the one day. And the pigmentation for these and the coverage are very nice it's almost like a lipstick and a lip gloss but that's it there that's caramel infused very pretty it's like a neutral it's in it's I would say like a neutrally pink because you can see the pink undertones in it so I would say it's like a neutrally pink very pretty very I think it's I would think that would be flattering on any skin tone myself um, you know I, I just I think it would be and um okay so you know me and the cover girl lip perfections i love these i think they are so underrated if you have not tried one just you know get one just try them and, and you'll see what i mean um they have brought out some new colors now and um i had seen swatches of this one i'm not sure what other ones i've seen it might have been the bombshell and probably because of the whole bombshell collection that came out from covergirl um and it's pretty i think it's like a pinky colored real dark pink or something um this one's called honeyed and it is a more neutral i've been getting some neutral colors trying to trying to get into all that you know the neutral colors and stuff so this one's honeyed number 258 i love this color and i love this line like i said i feel it's just underrated i should do a video on like un underrated stuff items and you know talk about them because some of the products can some can be underrated these are so creamy and smooth it is untrue these are like i mean the best lip products i think covergirl probably ever came out with that i've ever tried Right there it is. That's honeyed. Look at that. That's pretty. And it, yeah, it's like a pinky neutral. 
I like to stick, I mean, I got some browns, but I like to stick with the pinky color, pinky neutral. Love it. So look up the, the perfections. They're awesome. Okay, two more things from Walmart, and then, holy schmoly, it's 20 minutes I'm into this thing. So yeah, let's hurry up, Lori. <laughs> so this is new. Uh, it's from, oh, it's from Alme. Alme, Alme, however you say that. Mm, I hope I'm not killing it. Um, and it's new, and it's the Smart Shade Corrector and Concealer. And it totally reminds me of the Eve Pearl. You know how it's a split pan? You know, you have like one side that's lighter than the other. Now, if you're somebody that does not like the thick, uh, heavy when you're putting on um, concealer or any of that stuff, you don't like that, this one probably would be for you. I wouldn't say, if you have really dry under eyes, I wouldn't, I would say no. Because the texture, yep, the texture, it being creamy and all, I don't know how well it will still do because it's, it's different. It's like it's thick when you're rubbing on it, but it makes a thin layer. It's like thin, thick, thin. Does that make sense? No, it does not, but it's, Hard to explain. That's what it is. Um, gosh, yeah, it is hard to explain. But it's it's not like that real thick kind that you see like from the Lumies or the Maybelline um, with the rounded ball thing. That, you know, like any of those kind of things. Some some of them can be really thick. This is just really. It's creamy. It's not that it's not creamy. I mean, it is creamy. That's the concealer side. Um, where do I want to put it? We'll put it... I'm doing it right there. So, I mean, it, it, it is very creamy. You can probably pat it and whatever. I have used this twice now, and I haven't noticed it settle in my fine lines. See how it goes on right there? That's it right there, so... I mean, it doesn't really seem like it's going to settle in your fine lines. I don't know if we're super dry because I'm just not really sure. You can give it a try, but I'm not sure how well it would do for somebody like that. You might prefer the more. I don't, it doesn't bother me. I would rather, I don't like something real drying. This I was a little bit worried about at first because when I got it and I was putting my fingers through it, which this is the lighter one, I was a little bit worried. I thought, oh no, you know, like it might might not be what I was hoping it was going to be. So, right here it is. I'm putting it. I'm going to... I find if I do it like this, like dab like this, that... and then, like I said, you can see it doesn't... doesn't settle in. So, I really like this. I did do it in first impressions, which I guess I wasn't thinking I did do a first impressions. You can watch that video. Also, if you'd like to, um, but I think that's a great new concealer, and I think it's going to last a good while because the packaging, like, they do give you a nice bit, so love it. All right, hello, light. Keep doing that today. This is from Hard Candy. This is another Hard Candy. All lit up. These are their cream shadows. I got this one because I thought, oh, this would look so so pretty, like in the inner corner or above the eyebrow, or you could even use it, and you'll see what I mean, as if you wanted to do just a just a little dab, not like big thing, just a little dab to give yourself a nice glowy highlight of some sort. Uh, similar to a lot of the cream blushes, it has one of those lid covers. Um, this one's called, by the way, Lady Like. Ladylike. So, nice and creamy. It's of a pink, like a frosty pink color. It's so pretty. Very creamy. It's not um, terribly drying or anything. Very creamy. Uh, let's see. We'll put you there. And I have noticed, I haven't worn them. But when I have swatched, and then I had forgotten and left it on the one day because I was trying to swatch, 
it does dry up and then it, it seems like it's going to stay really good. So do you see what I mean about that sheen? I don't know how. So I, I really think it would be one of the ones that would be really good put in your inner. Um, you can probably put it above on your eyebrow, probably if you use a little more matte on your eyes though, because you won't want too much, you know, shimmer and glitter going on. And then maybe even on your cheeks. I really think that would work on your cheeks. It's of a pink color, so, but I think it would. I don't see why it wouldn't. Might give it a try. Might wait until, like, spring gets here more to do it that way. So, alright. Then, these ones here, the last two things. Which, oh my god, I'm getting crazy here. Alright. These two things here are limited edition Maybelline uh, the essential or not essentials sensational I'll get it right the sensationals I love these lip glosses from the drugstore and I really like the whole Maybelline um, the the Maybelline lipstick line from the sensationals so I had started getting the lip glosses and I'm really liking them too and these are the these are actually limited editions I think they're from they're either from last spring or last summer not sure which, but one or the other. But they're limited edition. And this one here, which is a nice pink color, like milky pink. I love milky pink. Is two seventy five. Fuchsia. Hello. Fuchsia what? <laughs> Fuchsia something here. I can't see. Fuchsia something. Wish I could really quite see, but yeah, I can't. But um, I got these at um, Big Lots. Dollar fifty. Yeah, dollar fifty each. So three dollars for these two, and that's still not even the price that you would pay for one of these. That is like crazy, insane to me. So there it is. There, really pretty. Color. I just can't make out what the color is saying. Fuchsia something. <laughs> it's fuchsia something. <laughs> this one here is Coral Heat. That I definitely remember because this is one of the colors I wanted to get and it was like all gone. Really a pretty coral color. Um, these smell so fruity. I like the smell of these too. These really get me. I love this. This coral color is so pretty. Very pigmented, too. Look at that. So, the pink one is, too. But the coral is pretty pigmented. These are really great lip glosses. And to get both of them for, like, three bucks, I mean, that's crazy insane. So, I always say check your big lots. I don't know if every big lots is going to have the same, you know, products. But still, dollar fifty. I was like, you know, jackpot. I always feel like when I go in there sometimes... I feel like I do get the jackpot because I've gotten color tattoo one and it was similar to like a dollar fifty and it was a limited edition one. So hey, if you miss out on some limited edition ones, go to your big lots, I'm telling you. And see, you know, see what they have. Alright. I am up. This is done. I don't want to go any further, so I thank you so much for joining me and watching me um and just, you know, sticking with me with all the beauty products and watching me every every week. I'm trying to get these up almost every week at least. Maybe a couple through the week, maybe once or whatever. Um, just depends. So I'm trying. I want to work out a schedule, so I will try to work on a schedule. It sometimes is so hard because sometimes, you know, if you get something, it comes on a certain day. And, like, right away I want to go ahead and talk about it. So... But, okay, beauties, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all are doing so well and keeping warm. I'm trying to find my button here where I have to shut me off here. But I hope you're keeping warm for all you who are in this frigid, crazy, cold weather that we've been having. Um, and for you that are in the nice, warm weather, send a little this away. <laughs> so, okay, thank you so much, beauties. Mwah, take care. Love you all. Bye-bye.